Hello everyone, hope you're having an amazing day or evening. Uh, you know, I want to apologize because I haven't uploaded that many videos yet, but I promise you I've been working on a lot of videos that I'm going to be releasing very shortly. Uh, so I just want to give you guys uh, some insight on this tool that it's available for weeks. And this is actually something super exciting because uh, a lot of people that have like you know, been looking on how to get more sales or get more leads. This is kind of like the answer for that uh, specific need that your business have. Uh, myself, I'm already using it and I have used it for some clients. So definitely I know it works and let me explain you what it is. So it's uh, using Wix uh, artificial intelligence um, system to run Facebook advertising. Now, I know a lot of people have, you know, that negative side of like, well, I run ads and I didn't get any results or I hired somebody and I couldn't get anything. Uh, there's a lot of factors on why that didn't work. One is you didn't find the right audience. Uh, it could be down to like the budget, right? But why this is different is because uh, what it does is like doing split tests, uh, you know, testing different images, doing all these optimizations. This is something that the system will do for itself. So literally all you have to do is connect the accounts, your website and set the budget and that's it. You don't have to worry about anything else. And all you gotta do is just make sure to look at the charts, see how everything is doing, maybe adding uh, you know more products to your website if you're selling a products or just making sure that everything on your site is connected So let's get into it So the first thing before you do anything is you want to make sure you open your Facebook account and Once you open your Facebook account the Facebook business page that you're gonna use you have to be the owner it cannot be somebody else because it's not gonna work if you're admin in somebody else's account it's not gonna work so the owner of that facebook account has to be the one that controls that page again if you don't have this then this is not gonna work second thing is make sure your website is already you know completed that you have all your products and services that you're uh, promoting or you're gonna promote because the system will pick images from your website to be doing this optimizations to do the testing and all that stuff so make sure that everything that's on your site is updated and is something that you know uh, is gonna be good now I if you need help with that let me know send me a message I can help you and I can give you some advice in what images you know you should have on, on your website even though the system is gonna optimize them for you but if you don't give the system enough tools then of course you're not going to get the best results now that being said uh again make sure that you are the owner of that page uh, once you do that what you want to do is you're going to go on your wix dashboard for your uh website okay then you're going to scroll down to where it says marketing and seo and you're going to go where it says facebook and instagram ads once you click on that you're gonna see this page right here and if you want to learn more about how ai works for specifically wix uh, marketing you can click this video and it's going to show you what it does the next thing you're going to do is just going to click okay so here you can decide if you want to do lead generation or just traffic to your website now if you have products it will show here but now let's click connect to facebook now from here you're going to get this pop up and then you're just going to continue now once you do this just follow these steps and now you're gonna select the facebook page that you're gonna be using make sure again to follow each step uh, again you have to be the owner of that account and if you're just an administrator it's not gonna work you have to be the one that uh, owns the facebook page and then make sure also that you have some type of content in that facebook page in case people want to look you up but pretty much this this step is very easy. It's literally connecting. If it doesn't connect, it's because you're not the owner of the account 
or you already have set up uh, other type of accounts and you might have to just delete the app within the weeks, I mean within the Facebook account and do it all over again. But hopefully that's not the case. Again, let me know if you need help and I can help you with that. So, okay, now this part is completed. Uh, in this part, as you can see, uh, for this account, because I can't be showing clients' accounts, I have to use this one as testing. Uh, this website doesn't have much content and that's why it's only showing the logo. Uh, but for yours, it's gonna pick whatever uh, image you have in your site. Now, get um, keep in mind that this is gonna be updating by itself, so it's gonna be picking up images from the website itself. Uh, here, you can start with a caption, and in this case, we're just trying a few different titles, but it doesn't matter because again, the system will uh, optimize it for you, so uh, you can set something again make sure is relevant to what your business or your product is uh, and then you can also change the image if you just don't like whatever the system put at first but again the whole point of using ai is that it will optimize it for you uh, now you're gonna select the button once you do that depends on if you're a store uh business you can just select more learn more or shop then you're just gonna go to the next option okay and then right here, it's gonna be the audience. Now make sure those two options are selected. It retargets and create look like audiences and just clip, uh, keep it gender all. And then the age also as well, just keep it from 20 to 65. Uh, you can read a little bit about what's in the page. And right here, you can also add a specific audience if you think uh, you know, you want to target somebody specific. In this case, I'm targeting the whole United States. So you can just type United States or you can set just the state that you're trying to uh, target for this campaign. Then next. And then uh, in this part now, just the budget. Uh, if you select each budget, it's going to let you know about how many views you're going to get. So again, uh, I started with $79 before. I saw uh, some type of result, but where I really got very good is between uh, 300 to 500 range. So again, if you're starting out, you can build some uh, you know, traffic with the $79 and you pay it up front. And then Wix will take 15% of that ad spend. So keep that also in mind once you start running this. So 15% um, of whatever the amount that you select and make sure that you can, you know, if you wanna just test it out, try it with the smallest package, but uh, this one you have to pay upfront. And then uh, in the event that your campaign doesn't get uh, approved, you're gonna do some changes, but then you don't lose your money. And then there's some questions down here uh, you might be asking yourself right now, so you can just read them yourself. Uh, remember, you have access to all these tools right in your dashboard in the Wix account for your page. So you can come and read everything and try to set it up yourself. Again, if you have problems, let me know. Um, I'm going to try to answer any comments that you might have. And also Wix can help you. Click next there. It's going to give you a preview of what the campaign is going to look and then launch your campaign. And then once you click launch, you're going to make the payment. It's going to pick whatever you already have in the system. And if not, uh, you can add a new PayPal account or a new card and you can just process to pay. So in this case, we're just going to click submit purchase and then it's going to go. So once we do that, it's just going to give you an approval message. And then uh, you can then have access to the actual charts to see what it's going to look like and how much traffic you got, how many views, clicks, and all that stuff. So as you can see, um, I was just refreshing the page, but submit purchase. Then it's going to show you this uh, little screen. It's just going to mention that it's processing your purchase. And then once it gets completed, you'll see exactly what it's going to look like on your end. Now, if you don't get to this part, uh, that means something is not right. Uh, so as you can see now, it says in review 
And once it gets approved, it will take between three to four hours minimum to like 24 hours to get it updated. Uh, so once it updates, it will show that it's active and then you'll start uh, be able to see all the clicks, people reach, type of audience, and it's gonna be doing everything for you. Now, uh, I'm gonna show you how you can see what type of uh, images and what the AI is doing in your account. So you're gonna go on your uh, Facebook page. Now for yours, um, I mean for your page might look a little bit different one because this is a Windows computer. If you have a Mac, it looks a little bit different for some reason. Also, if you're looking it up on your phone, it might be a little bit different. So uh, I will say the safest is just look it up on your computer. That way you can get close to what it will look like. So as you scroll down on your page, you're gonna look for this section right here, which is called page transparency. Now, this is also very useful for any other um, competitors that you might be researching and you're trying to see what kind of ads they're running. So this is really good uh, to kind of see what are they doing, what kind of copy they're using, all those things. And it also gives you an idea on what you can do. So once you click here, uh, it's gonna tell you this message. This page is currently running ads. So this is what we're using for the uh, for one of the clients I have here uh, for AI. So when we go to the ad library, then you're gonna see uh, what is the system doing. So for example, this is not an image that we selected. It literally took this from like a screenshot from the actual website itself. Uh, and then it has just the basic message, check it out today. And it keeps changing it all the time. So this is what it's gonna look like. This is like for templates so they can buy now or shop now. And uh, that's what it's gonna uh, look like on your end. So again, this will be very useful. Also, if you're trying to find who other companies or what kind of comp uh, what they're running. So now that you know that, uh, let me know if you have questions. Hopefully this video helped you and uh, see you on the next one.